Ladies and gentlemen, we are only a few hours away, a day away from Manchester United versus Newcastle, but there's still one more topic that I want to discuss before I get into my predictions and starting 11 video that will occur later. It's someone that has been linked to Manchester United for quite some time and could potentially be the future manager of Manchester United if things do not go well this season. And I'm sure you guys know who I'm going to discuss and who he is. If you don't know, his his name is Mauricio Pochettino. So without further ado, let's talk about him right now. What's up, everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about Pochettino potentially coming to Manchester United. What are the positives? What are the negatives? If it will happen, and what could potentially be our future for this to happen? But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on, and let me know in the comments below, would you like to see Pochettino as Manchester United's manager in the future? It's very interesting to see how many people have basically gone to Oli in and gone to to Oli out and it's pretty much divided opinion and I think the opinion is being divided because of the Pochettino rumor. People would prefer Pochettino over Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in most scenarios. So we're going to be discussing Pochettino in this video and mainly what he would bring to Manchester United. So of course for Pochettino to come to Manchester United there's a good chance Oli will probably fail if this was the case. Now if Oliver Gunnar Solskjaer was in the top four, he was doing extremely well, winning all these games, you would never, ever hear Pochettino. We never heard Pochettino last season, and yet here he is now being mentioned after another dreadful transfer window, which again, I will say in every single video, the board did not back Ole Gunnar Solskjaer this transfer window, and if he does get sacked, then that's solely on the board. Maybe it is a little bit on Ollie. You can't say that, but it's mainly on the board and, and the owners. And that's where my direction lies. But of course, they're going to try and hire Pochettino to remain face and to get all of the blame avoided from them. So let's talk about Pochettino. Why don't we? Let's talk about the positives and the negatives. Obviously, the positives for Pochettino is that he is a very well-known and very um, good manager. He's managed a lot of places and he's done extremely well. And I guess the main one would be Tottenham that obviously everybody would like to discuss. Tottenham Hotspurs is definitely the one where you say um, he's a good manager. And what he did for Tottenham for so many years is something that Manchester United probably were looking for well before we got Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And now that he is for free, which is another positive, it looks like Manchester United might be turning their heads and giving a little bit of a glance to see what Pochettino would like at Manchester United and if Manchester United would like Pochettino. So it's a little bit of a diverse thing, but of course he's a very, very good manager. I think man management, again, is something that's extremely important. I feel like Pochettino has that in spades. Pochettino tactically is probably a better manager manager than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He probably doesn't play the style that I necessarily like. I mean, I like the wingers. I like the the crosses into the box. But at the end of the day, none of that seems to be working at Manchester United. So I'm open to changing the attacking formation. I'm open to changing the way that we play. Not necessarily the, style, the Manchester United style, but changing the way that we perform that style. Maybe it's not crossing into the box, but it's more cutting in and shooting. Maybe it's not using the wing play as much as, as creating centrally. And at the end of the day, we do not have the players that, um, again, that's Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's not been backed. We don't have the players, in my opinion, that could play Poch's way when it comes to the wingers. I don't think Pochettino would like Dan James. I don't think Pochettino would like um, Jesse Lingard and Wamata and, and all the wingers that we do have because it just does not seem like that's the Poch way. I don't see Poch using so much width for their wingers and more of the fullbacks, in my opinion. But regardless of what you think of Pochettino, I think it's very well known he's a, he is a tactically better manager than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and he has a much better resume than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The negatives. Uh, there's not... Look, you're going to be nitpicking if you talk about negatives with Pochettino, because there's not that many. So, obviously, the late substitutions, which we still have with Oli, that's a very big negative for Oli. We will probably see with Pochettino as well. Pochettino is someone that will not um, change things like that. He won't change it before halftime. He won't change it at halftime. There's a good chance he's going to ride it out until that 70th, 80th minute, and then make his substitutions based on that. Also... 
Um, Pochettino sacrifices trophies to win other trophies. Uh, that's a big negative for me. I mean, I know no, no one really cares about the Carabao Cup. No one really cares about the FA Cup these days. We focus on the Champions League and the Premier League, mainly as Manchester United and as most big clubs do. You'd like to focus on the bigger trophies to win those trophies because they mean more and they're more important. But that doesn't mean we should be sacrificing other trophies. And that's the big thing that Jose Mourinho did as well. The ultimate trophy winner sacrifices a bunch of trophies. So... It's something that I don't necessarily like in a coach. I don't want to go into a season knowing we're going to give up a trophy to go for the Premier League or we're going to sacrifice our team in the FA Cup just to survive in the Champions League and stuff like that. I want a team and I want a manager that will focus on winning everything at Manchester United. The FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, the Champions League, the Premier League... It might be impossible to win all of them, but we should not be giving up on these cups and we should be winning everything that we're in. That's Manchester United. We want to win trophies. And trophies, whether they're big or small, is a trophy that Manchester United should want. And I feel like Pochettino does not really reflect that. And of course, the main thing as well is that he has not won trophies at Tottenham. I believe he managed Southampton before that and I don't think he won anything there either. So Pochettino, as good as of a manager as he is, has not won trophies anywhere in his managerial career and that's a big blow to his resume as good as it is because winning trophies is important to our club i think that's why we hired jose because he was a naturally known trophy winner and we did win trophies under jose it's the main reason why even if, when we won the fa cup we sacked van gaal because the fa cup is not the only trophy that we should be winning at manchester united i feel like we have a big reputation in name but some of the people in this club just don't have what's, what it takes to win trophies. And Pochettino might be good enough as the Manchester United manager right now. But when it comes to the entire team and what we're trying to aspire, is Pochettino going to be the right guy? The same questions that you have with Oli can be said with Pochettino. If he doesn't win trophies, is he good enough for Manchester United? And he might be good enough now because Oli might not be good enough, but that does not mean that he's good enough overall for Manchester United. And that's a big thing that I did want to discuss. But there's no denying Pochettino is a good manager and there's no denying that Pochettino will probably make us better at this point in time. But the fact is, Pochettino is someone that I believe has more of a backbone than to just fall to Manchester United's demands. And let me give you an example. Even though, in my opinion, he's probably not the end or be or Manchester United manager. He's not going to be the manager that wins us trophies. He's not going to be the manager that, I guess you could say, will push us even further than what we are. What I do think Pochettino is, is a very, very, very meaningful and very 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 winning oriented manager he wants to win just because he doesn't have trophies doesn't mean he doesn't want to win and i think he focuses a lot on the premier league because he wants to win the prem he made it to the champions league final with tottenham and that tottenham team should have had no way shape or ground made that champions league final but they did and that's a big thing pochettino is definitely part of that and that's always going to be a part of his resume and i do think if he was going to come to manchester united he would want demands he would want demands from this club he would want this club to back him back him for more than just one season back him for his entire managerial career and I think if Manchester United cannot deliver on the funds that Pochettino asks for Pochettino won't come I think that's the type of person he is I don't think he's just going to say I'm desperate for work I'm going to accept everything Manchester United offer. If they're going to not back me and they're only going to give me 20 million, I'm going to take that deal and I'm going to join Manchester United because I want to work. I don't think Pochettino is going to be like that. At the end of the day, Pochettino is probably going to have a th hundreds of clubs knocking on his door asking for him to go to a club. Just because at the moment all clubs are taken doesn't mean that a manager won't get sacked. It's as simple as that. There could be a manager, whether it's Pep Guardiola, whether it's whether it's Klopp, even though that's very unlikely with Klopp. Pep Guardiola, Klopp, Oli, anybody can get sacked. Anybody could get sacked from a top league. Even Barcelona, Barcelona could manager could get sacked. I mean, Barcelona sack every single manager. Real Madrid, Juventus. Every single team at the moment has the potential to sack their managers. It's not a foregone conclusion that every manager is going to get back this season and is going to do well this season. And I think it's it's been shown already in the Premier League for sure. So Pochettino is going to have a lot of options available for him. So Manchester United, 
if you're going to bring Pochettino in, if you're going to sack a fourth manager and you're going to try to bring Pochettino in, if you don't back him, then the same problems will arise. And that's why the board, in my opinion, is more important. But overall, Pochettino will only come with certain demands in place that Manchester United can fulfill. One season of being backed will not be enough for Pochettino. And I think he can make us look silly if we end up having a transfer window the way that we did this season with Pochettino in charge. I truly believe that. It's already bad enough that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is getting all this blame. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is not the right man for the job. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer can't take us to win titles. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer wasn't backed. And once again, when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer does get sacked, and eventually, whether it's in 20 years' time or, or tomorrow, Ole will eventually get sacked from this job. And when he does, I can guarantee you he will come out and say he wasn't backed. Whether it's in three years' time, two years' time, when no one's going to care what he says, he's going to come out and say, I wasn't backed. I truly believe that. And at the end of the day, we're going to have to wait and see if the same thing will occur with Pochettino, which it will. There's no denying that. And maybe he can do better than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but at the same, at the same time, this team can only go so far without being backed. And third, it's a pretty damn good place to finish without being backed. Pochettino might be able to get second. Hell, we could scrape a league title for with Pochettino if everything goes our way. But the same things will still arise. We are not going to get backed no matter which manager will come to Manchester United. So, it's basically picking your poison. You want Pochettino in? That's fine. He might be a better manager, but he's not going to get backed, and then the same thing's going to happen to him. Eventually, people are going to realize that the managers that they love and, and support will eventually just get let down once again. And I'm not trying to be negative. In fact, I feel very optimistic for the future ahead for Manchester United just because of not seeing them for two weeks. I want to see us play. So maybe that positivity comes back and maybe, just maybe, we have a difference in getting back within the next few transfer windows. But it's looking bleak at the moment, especially in terms of getting back. But maybe the future of Manchester United is not dead and buried yet. So let's see what happens. Pochettino, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who do you want as Manchester United manager? Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments below. As I mentioned before, Poch or Ole, do you want Pochettino at Manchester United? Do you think he'll get backed? Or is this the same old story that's going to end in the same old way? Have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.